Welcome back to the Tech Shack to another low quality video. Please excuse the fan noise. It is hot, so everything is running full speed, but it's like 90 degrees out today. But I still wanted to get this filmed. So we have another machinist Chinese motherboard. This one is not X99 or X79. This is B450. We have a Ryzen 2600 in here. It's an all white motherboard for an all white build for my daughter. Um, her birthday's coming up next month, but we're going to get all the parts we have now post-tested, make sure everything works, maybe even boot into a little test OS, make sure everything is good to go before I build her full computer next month. All right, wait, we have this all-white RAM that's going to be used for the build, so we might as well put that in there, make sure that's good, everything posts. All right, so you got the RAM in. You got this CPU fan just kind of sitting there for now. The thermal paste is kind of like holding it in with suction. I got um, this temporary graphics card in to see if it posts. Got power, HDMI, Ethernet, and USB um, for my keyboard and mouse off this harness for this bench. So we'll see. She fires up and we get video. One eternity later. There is, oh, there it goes. It's posting. It's training. Wow, that's actually a much nicer looking BIOS than I'm used to with these. Wow, this is a much better BIOS than I'm used to seeing with these. I will play around with this for a second and see if it's any better. I wonder if it's just a UI facelift. All right, so the good news is this is a full-featured BIOS. It does have XMP profile. The problem is I can't get this 3200 kit beyond 2667. Now, I'm not going to blame the motherboard on this because it is a Ryzen 2600 non-X and cheap, like, no-name brand memory. Plus, I had the 2600X and a B450 Asus Prime motherboard with this... T Force 3200 megahertz memory, and the best I could get that was 2666. And the same thing with their sister and some Corsair memory. Actually, I could get this one to 3000 with two sticks, four sticks, 2666. And then her sister inherited the same motherboard and CPU, the 2600X, with an Asus B550 Prime motherboard. And when I swapped that out for Corsair memory, she could still only get 2666, even with 16 gig a pair so I'm gonna blame the memory controller on this one but I just realized I didn't put the battery in yeah cuz these don't come from China with the battery for whatever reason if they do it'll stay there it'll stay in customs a month longer than necessary and they'll confiscate the battery so oh, I gotta put a new battery in here and redo this and then run mem test to make sure it's stable and then we'll get Windows installed a few moments later. All right, so Windows is installed. Um, I did run mem test, four passes, completely fine. I thought I recorded that part and then said, okay, let's boot into Windows. But apparently I didn't record that section. So yes, four passes with mem test, completely stable. 2667, one megahertz faster than her sister's with a Ryzen 2600X, and she only has a Ryzen 2600. So there's gonna be just minor differences as far as CPU. However, GPU, this isn't her card. We're gonna put her card in soon, um, but that's gonna be about the, the biggest downgrade, but she only plays Roblox. But I also realized I didn't go over any of the motherboard IO, so let's get this graphics card out so I can get hers in, and we'll go over some of the IO. But yep. Okay, now the graphics card is out. I never went over the I.O. It's pretty basic. So obviously single by 16 slot, single by 4 NVMe. There isn't a Wi-Fi one. There's not two stack there, unfortunately. There's only one slot. Of course, there's single by one slot, single USB 3 header and single USB 2 header, um, front panel audio, COM port, and then of course your, your front um, connectors. Then around back you have USB 2, Four, four USB 2s, two USB 3s, 
VGA and HDMI only applicable if you're running an APU, gigabit, and SATA or four SATA ports if I didn't mention that. So pretty basic box standard motherboard, but honestly not much different than what you get from like an Asus Prime motherboard, especially in micro ATX. All right, so let's get her actual graphics card over here. Quite a few projects coming. Got another Soyo card. Now I have probably had about 20 Soyo cards come through here between the 5700 XTs and the RX 580s. This is neither of them. All right, and since most of my Soyo graphics card videos do exceptionally well, videos like this one will probably only see single digit views where my last Soyo graphics card video got almost 4,000. So yeah, I'm saving that for the next one. So that is it for this low quality video. I will see you guys in the next one. Oh, by the way, great buy. If I didn't say that already, buy this motherboard. But yeah, goodbye.